Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. I really got something for you this time. The Octave Cast Strength Scotch Whiskey Distilled at Craigalachy Distillery 2008. So, bottle 2021, nice bottle, nice bottle design. By the way, when you do this, it flattens out and um, that can always be used again. They put the little label here, they put the little label here, and everyone's happy. So, what we have is the Octave Cast number 75295513. Now, why did I say, because this is one of a total of 65 bottles exclusively for Germany from Kirsch. So I have bottle number 35. Now, um, on the back of the box, they actually do a fairly good of graphically describing what's going on here. So what they do is they take, I'm adding a word here, a tired hogsheads of aged single malt or single grain scotch whiskey. So a hogshead is basically 250 liters. And what do they do? They um, put it into octaves. Now, the thing that I don't understand again um, is, I don't understand a lot of things. What is the size of an octave? An octave is a eighth of a barrel. Octave, octo, um, eighth. And, um, so I take um, the, the, the the sherry hogshead, um, 500 liters, divided by 8, get 62.5 liters. Good. Uh, this is 50 liters. So, I take 50 times about 8, I get 400 liters. I don't know any cask size that has 400 liters. So, I know what an American Standard Barrel is. I know what a hogshead is. I know what a port pipe is. I know what a sherry butt is. I even know what a ton is. T-U-N. 700 liters maximum use size um, in Scotland from oak containers there or barrels. But what is... Why 50? Why is 50 in octave? Hmm. And the interesting thing is these are sherry octaves. So, they basically, if I believe the picture here... They take the contents here of a hogshead, 250, put it into three octaves, each 50 liters, so about 500, 500, 150 liters, which is about right with angel share and so on. And then they get an average of, they say, 88 bottles of exclusive single malt scotch whiskey. Now, 88 bottles, 65, uh, that's a big difference, actually, all right? So, um, I don't know what happened here or what went wrong. So, they take a old, tired cask from Craig Arachy, and they put it for another three months in these octaves. Now, an octaves is a big sherry cask that has been reduced in size. That means actually a cooper has shortened staves, has rebuilt this, has maybe even retoasted it, I don't know. Um, and so on. Maybe they were actually built to the size, um, 50 liters, and they actually put some sherry in there in Spain and then poured out the sherry and sent those octaves up to Scotland for a Douglas um, Duncan Taylor, possibly. Now, I don't know about that part. What I really don't know, <laughs> I don't know a lot, as you know, is do they use these sherry octaves once, twice, three times, four times, 12 times? I mean, they're putting the whiskey in there for three months. There's no law against using them more than more, more than one time. It's not bourbon. It's not a one-time deal here. And so they are probably using them more than once. Maybe even more than twice and more than three times. So um, that is one of the things. Now, um, about a year ago on my channel in Germany, I in my YouTube channel in Germany, I did a blind tasting. We had six different octaves um, cav finishes or octave um, bottlings here from, Doug, uh, from Duncan Taylor. And what happened was is that one was oakier than the next. And it was just the whole evening, it was a festival positive irony of uh, bitterness. And it's like, okay, I'm not going to buy another oct octave as long as I live. And then I did a um, blind tasting, also in German, with my um, super fans, basically, and some others. It was the, um, a, a requested tasting, Bunnehaben, Young and Peated. And so um, there was a octave in there. And that young and peated Buna was one of the best that we had. 
number two for me. Um, some other people, number one and number three, but it was in the very top of those, and they were, they were, they were very, very well-made whiskeys. It's like, oh, okay, now I'm interested. So I have these two things here. I have a Buna. We'll do that next. And I have the Craig Alachy. I love Craig Alachy. Often independently bottled Craig Alachys are not as superb as then the original bottlings. So, don't have anyone here. Okay. Um, often I have a um, Craig Alachy ready to grab. And so I'm really, really interested in what's going to happen here. All right, on the nose. A little disappointing. I have a sweetness, but it's an artificial type of sweetness, like you have with your artificial sweeteners. Um, I forgot the name. Stevia is natural, the other one that's not. Um, and then it's also a little bit like an artificial caramel, or caramel, caramel note in there. There's alcohol, there's the wood, but there's two things that come across as being artificial. Now, what am I going to compare it to? If you know my channel, you know I always find something, I'll always usually try to find something to compare it to. This is also something that was a German exclusive, the Samurai. It's a Krieg Alachy. It's 59%. It's from 2009, and it's from a Sherry cask. So this was a Sherry Octave. This was a Sherry Butt. Look at that color. Um, this is my syrup sherry that I am not a big fan of. I was not a big fan of this bottle anyways, but hey, I still have a little bit, so I decided to um, use this as my reference point or my comparison point. Not going to take very much, um, just a tiny little drip here um, so I can have a little, little tickle of my tongue at the end. Now this, the color, um, it is natural color, congratulations. Um, it is non-chilled filtered. It is 53.7%. Um, now the funny thing is they have something on here, it's called www -octave, um, with an S dot com octaves. And if you go there, it says um, copyright octaves.com, and that's it. So um, octaves.com, 2021, copyright, all rights reserved, um, privacy policy. Oh, there's actually a privacy policy here. Oh, okay, very, very good. Um, haven't even read the privacy policy. Oh, look at that, okay. Please note, we're not the domain owner, owner not responsible for the advertisements on this site. Team Internet um, from Munich, Germany. And the data protection officer is here, Christian Schmidt from Munich, from the Data Protection Consultancy, GmbH. Ooh. So something's going on here, all right? So um, at least here in the middle um, of November, it's not up yet. Who knows? But this was exclusively bottled for Kirsch Import in Germany. I want to read here. For up to 40 years, the team at Duncan Taylor has experimented by maturing whiskeys in smaller casts with great, with great success. Congratulations. Our research stemmed from the simple premise that there is more wood interaction with whiskey over a shorter period of time in a small cask than a large cask, therefore allowing a more rapid melding, hmm, M-E-L-D-I-N-G, melding of wood, air, and alcohol. After a second maturation, the octa octave casks have refined the whiskies, enhanced its hue, taste, form, and character. The flavor prof profile is greatly expanded, a little more sophisticated with the commanding presence of mature, well-balanced Scotch whiskey. All right, so now question of the day is which octave um, bottlings have you had and can recommend? Now, I know many, 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 I'm going to use the word many, 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 uh, many distillers in the United States have started off with smaller cask at the beginning, um, but often they move back up to the big boys, up to the, the um, 52 gallon, 200 liter things towards the end. All right. 53.7%. Cheers. There is a certain pepperiness to this. It's a black pepper, a white pepper, more a white pepper moment. It's There's the sharpness in here. Um, probably comes from the fact that it spent um, 13 years in a very tired cask. Didn't really have that interactive um, maturation that was needed. 
there still is that artificial caramel, artificial um, sweetening moment. And what I also get is a tiny, tiny little bit of a of a musky, a dust, um, like a damp basement moment. Um, I do not particularly like the textures of mushrooms in my mouth. Sorry. I will eat a mushroom cream soup though. Hmm. Get that, all right? So I like I can I can I can enjoy the taste of a mushroom. I just don't like the texture of a mushroom. So if you purify it, um, you turn it into a, some type of liquid. I'll no problem. Um, but just that texture is not really my cup of tea. And um, that I'm getting a little bit of that that mushroomy moment here. That might be from the Kaligalachi. It might just be from that old tired cast that was used at the beginning. So Duncan Taylor does not produce themselves. They are very, very um, dependent on the cast they can buy on the secondary markets and maybe even directly from the distilleries. So a 13-year-old Kaligalachi, I can go to a broker in the UK and say, hey, here I have my five to 6,000 pounds. Um, could I have the barrel, please? They'll say, here you go. I'll pay another five to six thousand pounds to get it, um, pay, pay all the excise taxes, um, to get it bottled for the labelings, to get it over to Germany and pay over here on my VAT. And so for 10,000 um, pounds, euros, I can get a nice 13 year old um, barrel of Kaigalchi if I wanted to. Now, I'm going to have to revise. It's not going to be nice. It's going to be from a second or third fill hogshead and it's just not going to have that usually one will not have that depth or that um that flavor complexity that a original would have from Bacardi that owned our doers as you know in America um that owned then the Kregarachi distillery because they've gotten rid of those casks and there's a reason for that usually all right so this is going to be a C minus unfortunately for me it just doesn't do it for me I'm going to put a tiny little bit of water in here, bring it down to 45%, try it one last time. This over here doesn't do it to, for me either, so sorry. Um, that sherry, but just absolutely bulldozers every other taste out of the way, and it's just that syrupy uh, sherry moment that I am so sick of at the moment. Uami? So we have that salty, and we have the sour, and we have the bitter, and so on. We have that uami moment here, a little bit of a Japanese type of moment. Mm. Really, that's artificial sweetener. Really, really not my cup of tea. Bitter, and there's a sweetness to it. It's just artificial. Sorry. Octaves can be good and octaves can be bad. And in this case, it's just not my cup of tea. All right. Thank you very much for watching. What is your favorite octave from Duncan Taylor? Not really expecting very much here, but hey. Oh, the price. Uh, 78 euros over here. As I said, we have a total of 65 bottles only for Germany only. It's not even whiskey based yet. No one has bought a bottle, put it up there. Um, who knows? Who knows? And it's been in the stores now for about a month or two. So this is not something that's flying off the shelves. The Samurai. What would I prefer to drink? The Samurai. I do not like the Samurai. Um, I just like the Octave even more. Thank you very much for liking, subscribing, telling others, and I will see you soon with another um, video, this time with a Bunahabin here from the Octave. Let's see if that's better. See you. Bye-bye. Whiskey Jason. Ciao.